just seen he's a, a big physical kid um, and then once I got to know him he's real competitive a great leader um, really hard working and understands what it takes to be a successful you know person and, and successful beyond just the football field and I think he understands what it takes to get to division one level and that's obviously been shown by some of the colleges that have already offered him scholarships I think they saw something in him when he went to the camp that uh, a lot of schools are starting to see now so they did a great job uh, evaluating him at the camp and seeing his potential about how he's only 15 years old, 6'2", 186, and uh, really strong and a physically dominant. I mean, he already looks like a college player, so they see a lot of potential in him, and uh, that was a great part on Coach Moore and his staff for uh, finding that early. You know, Coach Snoop and his son were coming here. Um, you know, the hype and all that around that, you didn't know what to expect, but the first time we met, you know, it felt like you were talking to any person, and you felt like you were the only person in the room. And he just said, I'm, I'm a father supporting my kid, and if there's anything I can do to support you, let me know. And from that moment on, um, it's taken a lot of pressure off me and, you know, the, the coaching staff and, and Cordell. And, you know, he's here to watch Cordell kind of start his own identity and grow into his own person and really uh, make a name for the Broadus family. And um, I think his dad's been real proud of him since then. say that, you know, I'm trying to make my own identity, but, you know, while I was at Long Beach Poly, uh, I, I, you know, it probably was a lot of pressure on me, but I really wasn't focused with it, you know, I was just trying to stay focused in my books and on the field and off the field. Well, you know, the transition was pretty hard, but, you know, I had to adapt real fast, you know, get used to the coaches, get to the environment, get used to the school so I can be successful while I'm here. I was working re working real hard this off season with like NFL players like Deshaun Jackson, Trent Richardson, and my trainer, Dante Gamble. And you know, he was just telling me, you know, you're doing this for a reason, boy. And then I guess he was telling me the truth. You know, uh, UCLA had offered me, Duke offered me, and uh, some schools that's interested, I think it's Florida State. And that's pretty much it, but I'm still working, you know. I'm just trying to go hard and get and just have fun with it, you know, but I'm not just going to sit back on that. I'm going to go two times harder now after I got that offer, you know, just to let people know that, you know, I'm for real. And they didn't just offer me just because who my father is. You know, as any other son, you, you would want your dad to just be as any other any other father watching the game, not uh, you know, Snoop Dogg's son and all that. You know, I just want to play football and have my parents there to support me.